Hey guys, how you doing today? It's Steve on the Guru Bro 2. Today we're going to talk about the NT Password Windows Removal Tool. I did a video back in 2013 and I'll put a link up here on the Guru Brew channel. It was one of my most popular videos ever. Here's a page of it here. You can see it's had 620,000 views of today. And it describes how to remove the Windows user login password. There's a couple ways to do it and I described on this particular video how to use a USB flash drive. But you can also make a CD and burn it as well. So I'm going to go over how to do that today and it'll be a supplement to the how to remove the Windows user login password. But it will be an alternative to using a USB flash drive. I'll actually show you how to make a CD. Now there are several reasons why you might want to make a CD versus a USB flash drive. Some older computers cannot boot from a USB flash drive. They'll only boot from a CD disk or hard drive. And so you're going to have to go and make one of these. And also, if you don't have a USB flash drive on hand, but you have some CDs, you can go ahead and make one. So let's get started here on my Windows 7 machine. And I'm going to show you from a Windows 7 machine today. This is the offline NT password and registry editor and I'll put a link in the description as well as a link to my previous video about uh, doing this with a flash drive. Anyway, if you click on the boot disk here and go on down, you'll discover that there's a couple different ways to do it. And right here, the download is right here for a CD and here for a USB. So depending on what version you want is which one you would download. So let's go ahead and download the CD version. It's a zip file and then I'll show you what to do next. Okay, so I went ahead and downloaded the zip version and it's here on my desktop. Now I mentioned before I'm working on a Windows 7 machine and of course if you can't get into your computer you're going to have to borrow a computer, use a friend's or use one at work or something. So here's the zip file on my desktop. I'm going to come on top of it with my mouse and I'm going to use my right hand mouse button and I'm going to come down to extract all and left click it. I'm just going to take the the uh, defaults here, extract. So here is the folder and it's unzipped now and you can see that this is the image or the ISO file. And an ISO file is actually a collection of files that are contained on the entire disk. This is what we have to burn the disk of is this image right here. Now you would think that you could just put in a CDR and here's the disk I'm using. These are Memorex disk and they're labeled as CDRs. You would think that you could just highlight this and come up under burn here. But if you do that, it's not going to allow the disk to boot. When you put this in your computer and turn it on, it needs to boot all the files automatically from this disk. So there's a trick to it and I'm going to show you that now. So let's go ahead and take our blank disk and put it in our CD burner. So I'm going to open. There we go. Okay, I put my blank disk in the burner and I'm just waiting for it to come up here. You can see that it's going to be called Drive G, and you just might want to make a note of this. We're not going to do either one of these. We're just going to close this for now and remember G, okay? Now, it's possible that you might have a button up here that says Windows Disk Image Burner. And if you, if you have that, you can use it, but you can see in my case, all I can do is burn, okay? Burn will not work. Again, burn will not work. You have to actually um, burn a disk image. So what I'm going to do is highlight this file, and I'm going to use my right-hand mouse button, and I'm going to go to Open With, 
and I'm going to use this Windows Disk Image Burner and click on it. And then you can see that uh, my G is picked. Now, if I would have had a couple of them, you know, they would be selectable here. That's why I told you to pay attention to the G in my case. Yours might be H, I, whatever. And also, you want to use this button right here and verify the disk. So let's go ahead and go ahead and burn that. Let's click the burn button. Now, this is going to take a few minutes. And what's going to happen, it's going to burn the disk. Then it's going to check it to make sure it's OK. And then it's going to pop the disk out. And as soon as all that happens, I'll be back. Okay, the uh, the program has finished and it came back to this window if I wanted to burn another one. In this case, I'm just going to close it and pull out my disk. And I've got it right here and label it with a Sharpie marker. And this is what you're going to use to boot your computer with. You're going to open up the drive to the one that you can't get in the Windows password. Put this in, close the drive, and then turn the computer off, and then restart it with this disk in. Now, you might have to use F11 to select the CD drive to boot from, but generally, it'll automatically boot. And from here, you can go ahead and refer to this video link for the remaining steps to take to remove the Windows password. So I hope you got some use out of this. Thanks for watching. I hope this video helped you out. If it did, please leave us a thumbs up and a comment if you wish. If you have your own question that you would like answered, please head over to the gurubrewshow.com website, click on the Ask a Tech link and leave a question and maybe we'll answer it in an upcoming show. So thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye for now. Thank you.